Today, local stores will be very busy with people looking to buy a Powerball ticket. Tonight's jackpot has jumped to $320 million. Our Brandon Roth right now is live at Rocky's newsstand in Syracuse with more on that. And Brandon, I love that even if you win, you're coming to work tomorrow. I, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said that a half I'm, hour ago. You said that. I'm booking a <laughs> ticket. Or I don't know where I'm going. I wouldn't be coming here. No, I love everyone. I love my job. I'd be here, right? Okay. Yeah, that's the big question, Lisa, right? What would you do? with? Uh, and it's uh, up to it's one of the largest Powerball jackpots in history, actually. $320 million puts it in one of the top five categories. So a lot of excitement. Rocky's just one of the many places where there'll be long lines of people showing up to get a dollar in a dream because you got to be in it to win it. Tonight's jackpot is actually the fourth largest jackpot in the game's 20-year history. The $15 million bump is due to brisk sales across all participating Powerball states. The largest Powerball jackpot to date, $365 million. $365 million. That was won in Nebraska back in 2006. Now, if no one matches all five numbers plus the Powerball tonight, the jackpot will continue to grow. But I think, Lisa, 325 million or 320 million, that is enough. And I know I was telling you last half hour, I know for you, that would buy a lot of <laughs> fountain soda. Yeah. Yes, it was. So cola, what would you buy diet, with the money? What, Pepsi. Yes. Uh, folks back, whoever's tuning in, they got to know you. You like, uh, you like fountain soda, diet Pepsi, mm -hmm. Pepsi, oh, diet Pepsi. <laughs> this is not an advertisement, splash, by the way. <laughs> you got to splash a little diet Pepsi. I'm just saying, one of the little many wonderful things about oh, you. Oh, thanks, yeah. Brandon. All right. Well, I want to know what you would do with the money so, if you win. What would you buy? Uh, again. I, I'm gonna have to keep saying this. I would buy the station. That's all you would buy would with 320 million dollars. You'd buy us. <laughs> I would buy the station. I would promote you, Lisa. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. And uh, I, I, well, actually, I would buy the station. And I said I would move Tickney to. It would be today in Central New York. It would still. Or it would still be here, but uh, we would start a little bit later, so I didn't oh, have to okay. get up at three in the morning. We would start <laughs> maybe at noon. We won't tell people so. you're supposed to be here at 3.30, by the way, but we won't. We will leave that out. All right. Brandon okay. Roth, live in Syracuse this morning. Thanks so much, Brandon.